Hey, it's Bro from Peach Wolves. This is the part two of changing AI template into a beauty product website. I'll cover topics like customizing UI, changing texts, and adding animations. So let's not waste time and dive in. Okay, let's start by changing the elements. But if you go to UI tab and templates or any other projects, you will see overlaying text. This is happening because every single element on 3D UI is set to fixed. So which is causing the overlay because of the Z index. And these are basically on the same height. So let's start by just hiding the elements. And let's go with the navbar first. Let's change the logo. So here's our logo. And let's change this text to shop now. And let's change the text style first. Let's upload our fonts. Okay, so here I have the fonts. And let's go with the men rope medium for the text. And let's add background colors to the button block. So let's make it white. Or let's make it off white. So here we have the navbar. Now it's set. And let's hide the navbar. And go to 3D UI. And let's hide the 1, 2, 3. And here we have the main title. So in the main title, we don't want this bottom text. So let's remove it. Let's remove the bottom bar first and remove the bottom text. There we go. And let's change the text to, here's the first uh, part of the text. And to add text span to the text, to make it two different text styles on one block, Let's go to scroll begin and let's copy the text here. Double click, space and paste. So as you can see, we have text span inside the text. So let's change the main text to Mandro medium. Let's make it white and let's go to the text span. Let's change the size to 64 and let's change this one to 64 as well. So here we have the text span. And let's change the text to, there we go. And let's change the text here. Let's make it wait and pour. And let's delete this one. Okay, there we go. So we have text span here. And let's change the line heights to 60. There we go. Now let's add another text on top of this text. So let's copy this one. And let's go to this block, paste, and move it inside. There we go. And let's change this to center. Let's change the color to white and font to Mandarin medium. And let's change the font size to something like 16. There we go. So now let's change this to the perfect. Okay, so that's it for the text. And let's remove this GIF. And let's change this text to white. Let's make this one Menro regular. Let's change the text side to 10. Let's change the minimum height. And there we go. So here we have the main title. But as you might have noticed, this is not visible. So let's add background blur. So to do that, let's go to basic, add block. Here we have the block and you have to add this block inside the animated one or which block has the animation. So in this one, it's middle text and let's move it inside. Let's change the position to relative. Let's add color. Let's go with something orangey. This should do and let's add blur let's change the minimum height and let's make it height and so our height is set to 200 pixel so to move this behind the text let's set the margin to minus 200 pixel on top so now it's perfectly aligned but our text is not visible so let's change the z index of this block to minus one Let's add some more blur. And there we go. 
so it's more visible. Actually, let's change the color to something more bright. And let's change the opacity to 0.85. So this is our first sex. And let's play around with the positioning. Let's make it 35. Or let's make it 40 dvh from top. Actually, 35 should be enough. Okay, so first text is set. Now let's move on to first title. So first title will be on top of these three 3D shapes, which we can call it three ingredients. So to make it more visible, let's add block and let's add 4,000 pixel height so we can scroll down to see. So here we have the three shapes and let's get rid of this icon. Let's change this text to only three ingredients. And let's change the subtext to, so here we have the subtext and I would love to see a smaller header for this one. So let's copy, paste, and let's change the top one to all natural. And let's speed things up. Okay, there we go. But since this wrapper is set to 10 dvh from top, which is not enough for us, let's move this one down a bit. So let's make it 25. And same as before, let's add background shade to this. And we don't have to make it from scratch. Let's copy paste this one. So in this one, we have the animation on title wrapper. So let's paste it. And here we have it. Let's change the color for this one a bit. This one should work. And let's set it to... There we go. And let's change the color for this one as well. Let's make it the same. Boom. So that's it. So let's add three ingredients to the bottom. So there we go. Now we are all set. Let's move on to title two. There we go. So 3D UI is basically done. Now let's move on to the 2D UI. So let's get rid of this block here and let's move on to top. So first off, we have this section and we can change the background to match this one. And there we go. So for the cream website, we don't need the metrics. So let's get rid of this. And let's speed things up.
and here's, here's the final stage. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more content and tutorials. See you on the next one. Peace.